This, this is from the storm that passed, but we got one coming up, and we got a lot of parents that are interested because their kids are off school Monday. Yeah, it's going to be wet and cold Monday, so an inside day. But the clouds we were just showing you, they will get out of here. Just takes a little bit to get mixed through. Here we go. The Lookout Mountain looking back toward the city and you can see some sunshine breaking through. It's going to take a few hours for the sun to get high enough to start the mixing process. That'll help bring drier air down and get those clouds out of here. But I do think you're going to see some sunshine before the day is over. 30s in the high country, 40s and 50s up and down the eastern plains and on the western slope. Already 56 in La Junta. DIA is down to 41 degrees. We're 42 this morning uh, in the high country up there around Aspen. 39, Phil Curry, our weather watch in East Franktown. He said he saw his first hummingbird of the season yesterday. 48 from Corey in Aurora, and he said it is already starting to warm up there. Here's future cast today. So we are starting with some low clouds and in a few areas uh, what appears to be fog in some of the foothills. This will mix out, and I think we're going to have plenty of sunshine today. By 12, 1 o'clock, enough daytime heating combined with some lingering moisture in the atmosphere that will crop up just a handful of afternoon showers, maybe even a little bit of snow down in the San Juans. This is nothing too widespread and heavy, so I don't think it will ruin your outdoor plans. Tonight, we'll start to clear out, and we should have a nice start to your Sunday. Speaking of Sunday, this storm up here near Seattle will be dragging a cold front into Colorado tomorrow. I think it comes in during the afternoon and the evening hours out ahead of it, a few thunderstorms. But then Monday, this low comes in from the southwest, supplies a lot of moisture with that cold air. And we do think we are going to see rain turning to a heavy spring snow. I want to show you two models because it is two completely different stories. This one is the European model, and it says, you know, overall, not too big of a deal, a few higher totals in the high country. The North American model <laughs> paints a much, much different picture. Large totals in some of our northern front range foothills. So this is completely going to be a timing issue. And when does the cold air arrive along with the moisture? Will it be during the day? Will it be at night? We'll watch it for you and let you know. Point is, stay tuned. Tomorrow afternoon, though, we do expect some severe storms potentially on our eastern plains as that cold front starts uh, its approach. 60s and 70s today for most of us. 50s to near 60 up high. And Joel, this five-day forecast, it's a typical spring one for the Rockies. We go from the 60s and 70s to the 30s and 40s in a very short period of time with rain developing and that chance for snow Monday into Tuesday. All right. Thank you, Chris.